Hi, this is Nate with IT Guys, and today we're going to be repairing a motherboard in the Windows environment. This method will work for all versions of Windows. To start with, we're going to click on the File Explorer icon, right click on this PC, and click on the Manage portion of that menu to get to the Computer Management Utility. You can also type in Computer Management and click on the app that pops up in the Start menu, or you can type in this PC, right click on this PC, and go to Manage to get to the Computer Management Utility. Once you're in the computer management utility, go ahead and expand the event viewer icon, custom views, and click on administrative events. Then when the administrative events comes up, go ahead and arrange by source to make sure that your computer is indeed having a motherboard issue. Scroll down to the case where you're looking for something called the kernel processor power event. And in that kernel processor power event, the details say that the processors are being limited by system firmware. Now this type of error can only happen for two reasons. Either A, the power cord going to the computer is not the right power cord, which happens sometimes with the used computers or aftermarket machines, or the firmware inside the computer isn't up to date and for whatever reason it's not providing enough power to the processors. In this case I've already checked to make sure that the AC power pack output voltage matches that of the input voltage required by this laptop by matching the output voltage with the sticker on the bottom of the laptop that sometimes is hidden underneath the battery. So we're going to ignore that possibility and go straight for the firmware upgrade. To find the right firmware settings or BIOS software it's sometimes called, we're going to search in Google for the manufacturer's website. In this case this computer is a Lenovo so we're going to look for Lenovo's BIOS upgrade. Some manufacturers have an automatic tool that does this for you. I find that it does not work very well, or at least not consistently for all Windows machines. So we're going to do it manually by looking at the drivers and software or drivers and support menu at the top of any manufacturer's website. And we're going to search for the software for this machine by serial number. To find the serial number, we're going to go over to the start menu and open a command prompt by typing in CMD and hitting enter. Once the command prompt comes up, the following command will get you the serial number. That's WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number and hit enter. The number that comes back will be your serial number. Go ahead and copy that down and we're going to paste that into the search window of the manufacturer's website. Once the website finds the associated software for your specific machine, go ahead and scroll down to anything that says BIOS or firmware and download the associated utility for that software. I can see that this one is, has had a release in October 5th of 2017, which is right around the same time as the errors started popping up in the event log of uh, November. So we'll go ahead and run the update. When it pops up, you know the deal. Uh, go ahead and next, next, next through the menus. Once the menus are finished, it'll ask you to upgrade your BIOS. Go ahead and hit next uh, on this menu. And next again. Now, this is an important part to note. Before you hit yes though, make sure that the computer is plugged into the wall. That's super important because if the computer dies or battery dies in the middle of a firmware upgrade, it basically turns the machine into a very expensive brick. Next menu is where we normally hit yes to go ahead and restart the computer and upgrade the computer's firmware. The problem is that we're doing a screen capture at the moment and if we restart the computer during the screen capture, the screen won't capture and we won't see what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and not do this at this point. You, however, will hit yes. Once the firmware has been upgraded, it should fix the kernel processor power management issues that we're having in our computer, and that's that. Good luck!